July and today we are off to Port Lim for one night and we're staying on site overnight and our accommodation I think is called like the forest hideaway or just the hideaway something like that it, it's like a little Hagrid's hut um but obviously a bit more modern and as some of you may or may not know it's James's 30th birthday next week for like, the week coming um, and it's on a Thursday, which is really rubbish, to be honest. Um, so what we decided to do was do something either weekend of his birthday. So obviously we've got this this weekend. And then on his actual birthday, he'll find out what we're doing next weekend. And that's really exciting. And obviously we'll be vlogging it. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that coming as well. Um, but James just, he went out probably about an hour and a half ago. We had loads of stuff laying about, like an old mattress and things that are just not that easy to get rid of. So, he's gone to get rid of those. So, yeah, he's going to do that. And then we've got to drop Nelly New off at my mum and dad's. She's staying there overnight. And then, yeah, we'll be off. And I think it's only about an hour and ten minutes away. And then we've got dinner booked there for tonight and breakfast for tomorrow morning if you can hear nelly crying in the background let me show you her um she had her breakfast and then she normally like does a number two after her breakfast but because it's raining outside well that's an understatement because it was absolutely tipping buckets outside she was refusing to go and i thought i do not want her going on the carpet so i've popped her in the crate just while we finish getting ready hello you popped her in the crate just while we finish getting ready and that will stop her doing any numbers because <laughs> dogs won't go in the area that they sleep in and this is where she sleeps every night so yeah and then she'll be going around grandma's you gonna go around grandma's yeah can see grandma pops yeah okay well, we've got to wait for Daddy to get home first. So I'm going to call James and see where he is at. It's big day now. We've just had a McDonald's. And we're heading to Port Lim now. And it's going to take about 28 minutes to get there. So, yeah, we'll update you when we're there. <sighs> Tell them what's happened. Bad boy. James didn't pack himself any, any T-shirts. We've got dinner later tonight, and then obviously we're overnight, and he needs an outfit for tomorrow as well. He's not had any t-shirts or any any tops. Yeah, we're going to stop at Ashford because <laughs> luckily it's in the direction that we're going. Top secured, and we'll be back on route in a moment. I used to watch um. I used to watch a program on BBC. I don't know. No, I can't remember what it was called, but it was set here. No, I don't think it was. Yeah, it was. I think it was with a lady called Rani. And it was CBBC, not BBC. Where was it set? Port Lim. Here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really understand, if I'm honest. Me either. What is it, a zoo or a... No, it's like a safari park. So you could come for the day? You could, but you don't get a golf buggy or anything. And there's um, like different experiences and stuff you can book. Alright, so we've just been given an instruction. Quite complicated instructions to be honest. Yeah. Say about going through France and... Mm. <laughs> what did he say about France? He said there's a roundabout at the bottom, treat it like a French roundabout and go the wrong way. Why? Why though? Why can't you just go the right way round it? Is this the roundabout? Yeah, this is the roundabout, that's what I mean, oh, yeah. Oh, bonjour. <laughs> Not really a roundabout. 
and then you've got a big tree like a french roundabout is he he said there'll be a blue cabin in front of you it's a riot so i put the camera down because there's loads of people um right find a parking space and then we've got to go into the main hotel for the reception can't look at all the lead on that roof we can't actually check in until about an hour's time so i mean yeah, honestly we'll just have a walk around till then The weather's literally so annoying. It's like pouring down with rain, but it's sunny and warm. What is that about? So we've got about an hour to kill till we can get our golf buggy and properly explore. So we're just having a little look around the area around the, um, like the main house. drink and enjoying a bit of breeze after climbing up what felt like Mount Everest and uh, yeah I'm enjoying the view so we're just gonna have our little drinks and we'll catch up with you when we've got our golf buggy the heavens have just opened but we're in our little golf buggy. <laughs> oh. I suppose you don't say no buggies. <laughs> Why do you say is it a surprise? He panicked. He did panic. Maple, this is our one here. Is it? Yeah. Amazing. Hold on. Our little golf buggy. Look how sweet this is. Forest hideaway. And maple. See what I mean now when I said they're like little Hagrid huts. This is nice. Oh, this is really nice. This is really This lovely. bed's small. <laughs> I'll sleep on the sofa. <laughs> oh, how sweet and cosy is this? So you do have like a rad if it gets cold and a log burner. 
And we've got all this malarkey, coffees, An espresso coffee machine. Do you know what they should do? What? Hot chocolate. How sweet is this? There's the light for in here. And then this is the bathroom. How sweet. How sweet. And I noticed as well, you get marshmallows for toasting on the fire pit. And then the typical little hotel slippers. I actually don't know what that is. It's just James on it. Yeah, I know. How don't you know what it is then? Don't know. I actually don't know. Really? No, I swear on your life. I booked it. What does that mean? Well, I just think it's oh. MI name. What is it? To James, welcome to the Forest Hideaway. Wish you a happy 30th birthday. Have a lovely stay from the forest. Hideaway team. Oh, ain't oh, that nice? It's lovely, and there's a tiger on it. Oh, lovely. lovely really lovely. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Well, I didn't know they'd write you a little card. That's sweet. <laughs> What's this? Just information. About all of the lodges and stuff. and. Because mm, I want you to come back and spend more money. Yeah. Oh, look, there's kits down here for the fire. Yeah. Matches and kindling, probably. Oh, Dying. Amazing. Drink, drink. Your commendation. I think we're just gonna dump our stuff and then probably have a really quick freshen up or toilet, whatever. And then we're gonna go and explore the park for a little while because the park actually shuts at five and it's kind of up to half three now, but we can carry on exploring. Um, with our golf buggies once the park is shut and then we've got dinner booked at eight so we've got a nice while to chill out and make the most of the facilities you know the best bit about this what well two two things are that basically this is just it's like a really posh shed isn't it mm -hmm. but you couldn't say that it needs anything doing to it like nothing's broken this is nicer than the lodge that we stayed at on the Isle of Wight. Dare I say it? Yeah. Uh, uh, dare you say it? A hundred percent. And if you haven't seen that, I'll put a little link to that video you will. up here somewhere. But and they've they've done like really good with the space. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it doesn't feel cramped in here. No, not at all. Uh, it's and nice and cosy. You couldn't say like it's really clean. It's really yeah, clean. Yeah, it smells clean. And like. Even like up on that light, there's no like, so that's breeding ground for cobwebs. Yeah. There's none. Looks at these lights, and you would expect, but like, there's no dust even on top of that bowl. No, it's nice. Clean. Which is the, the most important bit. Uh oh, why are you going into the toilet? I'm just exploring. <laughs> Look, nice towels. A shower. Yeah, can you fit in the shower? Yeah, the shower's, the shower's massive. No, no, Debra. Did you say you brought a Tober Island? <sighs> yeah. Where is it? It's in my bag, but we have it tonight. No, I just want one triangle. You've had some biscuits. No, I, I, that, that's the. Uh, Complimentary that I've tried. No, why are my bourbons out on the bed then? Your bourbons are secured. There's nothing wrong with the bourbons. Okay. Where's the table around? In, oh no, it's not. It's in the holder. It is obviously not my birthday stuff. Oh, here we go. What? I'm your husband. Right. Yeah. What? What? Yeah, well done. I'm glad we've established that. Yeah. And you're not treating me very good. Oh, whatever. I've got a whole vlog here to say that I am. 
Oh, I didn't realise they was that small. I left a couple of, I left three triangles. That's what broke off. I only tried to break off two, but three. Obviously. Ooh, a couple. Oh, I've got them white chocolate. Give me a small. Before we go back out, I've just realised we haven't done an outfit of the day. James! Yeah, which for my birthday? It's the birthday one for We're going to have them later. Alright. Right, let's give this a go. From top to bottom, talk us through your outfit. That'll go. Vans trainers. Right, we're going from top to bottom, I just said. Right, look, Van Trainer, Santa Cruz t shirt that I've got on the Isle of Wight. My wrap walkproof jacket, which is one of my favourite jackets. It's it is a nice jacket. Key for the lunch. You know the drill <laughs> from the waist yeah. down, guys. <laughs> the boohoo shorts and vans. Excuse me, I do exist as well. Do you? Yeah. Right, top to bottom. Oh, top to bottom. Got a oversized shirt from In the Style. Uh, just a black top from Zara, leggings are Amazon, uh, what are these called, socks, obviously Adidas, and then we've got the comfiest New Balance trainers. Tap dancing one And version. then I've also nicked James's uh, rain jacket. It is North Face, but it's also got some companies on the back for when he rides trials. Hey guys. He's got you on the GoPro. Yeah. Let's go. And we're going to try and follow the map on here. It does technically sort of say that we can go straight on it, but I don't think we can. I just wish the map would like turn with you, you know, like Google Maps does. Buggy route left. Yeah, and, and there. And there. That's for the other lodges, though. Yep. Oh, yeah. Because there's the camping pods right in front of us. Oh, 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 I think we can still go this way. Okay. Well, we can have a look anyway, can't we? Take you guys with us so you can have a little look as well. Look, lion lodge. Oh, yeah. And Lion and Lodge, Tiger Kika, Watch. Kikara, you that way. So they're the lodges where you're kind of in the enclosure. So you have like a massive glass wall. Um, and yeah, you're literally like inches from the actual animals. And then these are the glamping pods. So I can't remember off the top of my head if they oh, have the communal pool area as well. If yeah? they have um en suites by the pool, he means like the game billiards. But yeah, I don't know if maybe that's why we didn't put one of these. Who's they what? Well, I can't remember if they have um, like an ensuite or not, because they're obviously they're really small. Yeah, but, but, but you don't get a buggy with them. Yeah, and you don't get a buggy, whereas I really like the idea of having a buggy. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I think it's a fucking dead end, is it? Yeah, it is, because this is with the lodge. You have to do three points down, mate. Air accommodation here. Yeah? Look, there she is. This is awkward. <laughs> Doesn't matter because they're a deaf, so they didn't hear. How cool would that be, though? We ain't got that sort of money. We ain't got any. Got a few years till my 30th. But it's not fucking saving now, then. <laughs> I think when I looked to stay in one of these enclosure lodges, it was like. 800 quid? 1500 pounds. 1500? Because it's like a whole experience in itself, isn't it? James, you're going to go off the edge there. Yeah, I'm just, just exploring. Well, explore the road, please. Oh. What? So, oh, this is a blue and a white blue, path. Blue, so we can go down. Yeah. Nice and peaceful though. I'm enjoying my little buggy ride. I 
Right, I think get back to the main like concierge area. Oh, do you? Yeah. What is that? Just to start as like a base because this is obviously all the accommodations. So I think for some of it, you may have to like park the buggy, yeah. The buggy and yeah, yeah. get out and walk, unfortunately. Walk. And then we're going to the treetop bubble. which is like an inflated bubble type thing. It's a bit odd. Although I did watch a review of people that stayed there and they said that it kept kind of deflating and it was a bit annoying. where you will have to park the buggy to get out of wall. I'm not sure if there's like restrictions on parking on them. Well, you've got to be essential, wouldn't you? Yeah, I mean, I did see some bits say like no buggy parking. So I assume that as long as you are considerate, you can park them anywhere that doesn't say oh, no buggy park parking. There. Treehouse club. Oh, look, there oh yeah, people that when you stay in the treehouse, there is like a clubhouse type thing. I've seen that. It's oh, in that's there. Quite cool, isn't it? Yeah, there's a coffee machine in there. Well, see, and is this dearer than ours or cheaper? Dearer. Really? Yeah, yeah, it's bigger. Can't see them, but they're up there somewhere. The treehouses. Yeah. There you go. Oh, that's nice. They're like apartments. They are quite big. But again, it's all right if there's maybe like four adults and you split it South American experience but um oh shit I've got to turn around do we? Yeah. Well, it's just dead end oh. mm. but yeah Look guys, this is the Wolf Lodge and then you've got the Rhino one next to it so the wolves we showed you a minute ago are in like the garden of this, this little cottage thing here. I'll show you better in a sec. Look, so there's like the cottage and, oh, then, right, there's, there's no and then they've got, um, look, that's the Rhino one and they've got like a beautiful little garden area. So this they're the old gatehouses for the original house. This must have been the original driveway. And they're the gatehouses. And that's mm. the entrance to the house. And look, this is the wolf enclosure. So you can go up there to view them. Where oh, are you going? They're there. Oh. Okay, we found a buggy route. We walked down there earlier. Oh yeah. Oh look, there's the monkeys. Look at it jumping around. So I don't know how well you can see this, so I don't think I can zoom in on the GoPro. to extinction in the wild more than a thousand years ago. Uh, brown bears maintain their huge size by foraging for food 
for 16 hours a day. Bloody hell, it's like you, James. Using their incredible sense of smell. It's like know? you, James. Yeah, That's what you'd be right. if you was an animal. All right. Come around to see the lions and they're nowhere to be seen. Like literally nowhere. I think they've escaped. I cannot see them anywhere, but there should be meerkats here. So let's have a look. Where? Right here. Come here. Yeah, you see them? Oh, yeah. With meerkats, they always have one awake to uh, yeah. look out. Meerkats are funny little things, aren't they? I think they're so cute. Just walking away, but look, the lions on top there. Five pounds of coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that. <laughs> that makes Starbucks look like Poundland. Yeah, 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 yeah it does, doesn't it? But um, yeah, just thought I'd share that with you. It's quite spinny. like big boys coming down I don't mean James oh there he is this one's a unit like massive wow So they have the pine wood pods, yeah, mm -hmm. and they just have a communal fire pit, lions nearby, seats for communal WC and shower block. Right, so that's why I didn't book that. But they also do pine wood pods with en suite. Ah, uh, yes, and I want to say there wasn't any of them available. There would have been a reason why I didn't book that. Because you don't get the buggy. Oh, they, yeah, that was that then. Yeah, that's why. I wanted to get the buggy. I like this, though. This is yeah, proper uh, cosy. This, this is perfect, perfect, perfect. Time now is exactly six o'clock. So we're just going to have a nice chill out for a little while before um, dinner at eight. We're just heading out to breakfast, uh, not breakfast, to dinner. Going to the Bear Lodge restaurant. We just got a hoppy now. It's a little golf buggy, but we need to try and find it. So we'll show you when we're there. This is the Bear Lodge restaurant menu. We've got a safari sunrise mocktail. What's that like? Really? 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 Yeah, it's nice. Just really? Like, six, six oh, really? Let's try. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's nice. So we went for the breaded brie and nachos to share. And they are huge. They're literally like ice cream scoops of guacamole and sour cream. Got a chicken tikka masala curry and James got chicken and chorizo skewer. Nice. James didn't remind me to vlog it before we started eating it. <laughs> you got the what is it? Double or triple chocolate chip cookie sundae. Please excuse the frizzy hair, but we got caught in the rain when we went to the Bear Lodge. Oh, I look awful. Um, James is just, I've got to try and not get him in the thing because he's not wearing any clothes, but he's just trying to 
like a little fire because it's actually freezing outside it's so cold we was um we was gonna have a little drive around again just because you can you can use your golf buggy until about 10 o'clock at night but it was that cold we were like we can't do it like we should have bought our dry robes it's that cold yeah that, that's a really good shout actually yeah and we've got the van we could have done but we didn't because you know it's july and you wouldn't think you need a dry robe in july um so yeah we're just gonna light a little fire and warm up and then we'll give you our verdict on the dinner the fire is on pajamas are on makeup is coming off they're gonna catch on fire aren't they yeah marshmallows It's an aggressive fire. Lovely and warm though. Can you believe they've got a fire going in July? No, I can't. And I can't believe they have got a fire going either. James is scared of fire. Do they not give you a glove for that? Because is that not going to get hot? No, it is different. Yeah. There is something nice about a fire, like the warmth and the crackling. Mm. Oh, <laughs> you happy with that? That's so good. I can smell it. No problem. No, thank you. But it smell it literally smells like a a candle, like a Yankee candle, mm. like sugary burntness. Oh. It smells really nice. Is that it? You're just gonna have one. I have two. Is that it? Well, yeah, when that calms down, I'll do some more. Yeah. And then Parry Hotter. Yeah, can't believe we've got a fire in July. It's bloody cold. But, oh, with this going, I think I'm gonna go to sleep quite soon. So, dinner, what did you think? It was nice, yeah. I don't think it was worth a hundred quid. It weren't. It ended up being £95 something. Including a tip. Yeah, and that includes a 10% tip that they add on to your bill. And bear in mind, we had tap water and two soft drinks. Yeah. So, obviously, if you're going to drink alcohol, it'll be quite a bit more as well. Yeah. I bet the alcohol's quite expensive because your mocktail was like £8. Eight pounds, yeah. yeah. So, I reckon a glass of wine would probably be like a tenner curry itself was nice so we'll say that the sauce was good it didn't taste like a jar sauce um I'm not saying it was or it wasn't I'm just saying it didn't taste like one and the nachos were a good size for a sharing portion but the sharing portion was 15 pounds um so yeah. again that is quite expensive it weren't worth that and the breaded brie was nine pounds and obviously you saw you literally just got one little triangle of brie and i feel like you were mainly paying for the waldorf salad that came with it and um, what was your your My chicken skewers, your, yeah your main and your thingy chicken skewers were nice but again it was a bit like a bit of a bit of an upmarket weatherspoons dinner really wasn't it yeah chicken tricks of skewer chips and salad yeah a bit of flatbread but i mean all of it like yeah it, it was nice and there was nothing wrong with it other than the price i think yeah but places like this are going to be pricey yeah. because you've got no choice but to eat on site anyway and then what was your pudding like you had a the sunday yeah it was nice i i, I, I had it for the sake of it really I didn't really need it. That's that. And we are going to go to sleep now. We're thinking we might try and get up a little bit early and go around the park. And then our breakfast is at half nine. Checkout's at 11. And we've got our safari booked for 11.30. And then we'll be heading home. So we'll see you in the morning. We just stopped off. Session 
Where the hell are we doing? Literally says there. Oh. James, pay attention. Where's the light for the bathroom? James, am I being dumb? Huh? I can't find the light for the bathroom. Probably up because you're being dumb. Some of them pods are Hang on, I ain't got my seatbelt on. They look I weird. don't want to get told off. Oh. What are you doing? I found them on there. They could be really dirty, like someone could have chewed, like had that in their mouth. And... Well, yeah, well, I'm not licking them. There's just something wrong with them. Oh, hello, Wedgie. There's something wrong with them. <laughs>